So what is the CNAME deception, Don? All right, so uh, a lot of people use ad blockers to block ads on sites. Some people go a little bit further and use like a DNS hosts file to block known ad servers. So ad networks have to take extra steps to be able to make it harder to block ads. And, uh, you know, an example, you might go to CNN.com. And on CNN's website, it might load ads from 40 different servers. Well, if you block those servers, then the ads don't show up, right? But CNN can create C names, these aliases, right? Nicknames for other domains. And they could call it like ad1.cnn.com, ad2.cnn.com. And so they appear as if they're under the CNN.com domain. Well, you don't want to block CNN's domain because that's what you're trying to get to. So in that scenario, you're doing C name deception. You're hiding the ads behind a name like this. Well, what the Brave browser is going to do is they're rolling out a new feature. I think they say the date that is coming out. It's soon. Um, and what it's going to do is anytime it goes to resolve a resource for an image or an embedded item, it's going to explode the C name. It's going to look for the server name behind it. And if it doesn't match the parent domain, it's going to block it by default. So they're effectively going to block C name deception. And that's important because it is a way that people track you. Brave is, is obviously very concerned about privacy, uh, but it also breaks other things that we might actually want to have happen sometimes so uh it'll it'll be an interesting time to see how that shakes out i like this it says that other browser vendors are planning to uh are planning related defenses mozilla has been working on a fix in firefox mm -hmm. since november or last november um and there was uh, apple safari is working on this i don't see edge or chrome well so there. remember the trick here is this is an attack on advertising tracking right oh, that's so right google that's kind of how want they it. make their living right right google doesn't want it uh microsoft edge is now based on chromium so they've got that uh firefox well the majority of firefox's revenue comes from google that's so you know the the biggest browsers that are out there are effectively in google's pocket and so they're not excited about this feature mm. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.